Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to part 22 of my Criminal Empire Challenge here in The Sims 4. I want to start off by saying I'm sorry if you can hear people in the background. <laughs> I don't want to say this too loud in case she can hear but my mum, she has like the over 40s Skype voice and she's currently Skyping my brother who lives abroad and so I don't want to tell her that like to stop but also I, I need to get recording so <laughs> that's what's going on so if you can hear anything in the background I do apologize but I'm not gonna tell my mum that she can't talk to my brother so I'll I'll allow it for now but we are joining Bunny Dark Bloom we kind of focused a little bit on Luca in the last part and so I want to focus on Bunny Oliver's kind of doing his own thing you know he's still working on his career he needs to really complete public enemy he this is the last one he needs to whip a death of a sim which I'm sure I don't know maybe that will come a little bit later on maybe that will be coming within the next few parts he he's genuinely out here doing his own thing he is minding his own business and just having a little swing on his uh on his kids play area so Bonnie is actually going to fill this bowl and then she's going to take care of herself because I want to have a squad rollout we haven't really hung out with her gang recently and this is now like I want this gang to become like I want them to become the next big thing because if we look at all of us like a lot of these are oldies now I don't even know if they're still alive quite honestly um oh they are but they're all old I honestly might age down Queenie and Lyric because it kind of doesn't make sense that Oliver's still an adult and those two have grown up so I might age them down before the next part hopefully they won't pass away in this part if they do we're gonna have to ambrosia ambrosia their asses back into the game but what I wanted to do was first off start with customizing the outfits for Bonnie's club because I want Bonnie today I want her to go on her very own adventure I so we know that we want to move. Our aim is to live in a house that, oh my God, I can't even remember how much it was meant to be. Let me Google it. Uh, criminal Empire Challenge Sims 4 rules. I should know this by now. Have a house worth at least 150,000 simoleons. And we know that the asylum is worth 100, sorry, I did not mean to just touch there. We know that the asylum is 1,809, 1,189,000. 1, there we go. Got there in the end. So I want to take Bonnie's club and try. I don't know if we're going to succeed, but have the gang go to the museum and try and break in to the biggest vault possible. You know, Bonnie always wants to come out on top. She wants to look better than her brother Luca. Luca's played a very important role recently and Bonnie's feeling a little bit jealous of it all. So we're gonna get these guys set up. They need to look absolutely stylin'. I don't know what the boys would wear though. Like, I mean, a leather jacket. I kind of want them to roll up in like suits. Like I know what I want the girls to wear. I want them to wear like the big white sunglasses. The boys, I don't know like I don't want them to seem really like your eyes would be shifting on them if you saw them like oh they're gonna get up to some trouble I don't want them to look suspicious so maybe we'll put them in suits we'll have them like full-on roll out in suits which I kind of love the idea of to be completely honest with you like the guys just rolling out in suits and the girls like looking like legally blonde-esque maybe these suits because they're going to a museum so I reckon a group of teenagers like getting dressed up for a museum that would have been weird like a few years ago whereas now teenagers we just know that teenagers are weird I wish that I was a teenager in this time period because I feel like Teenagers right now are like so much more mature and they'll just be like, you know what? I can dress how I want without people like even if people look at me, I don't give a crap So if you're a teenager like that, 
then I respect you. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the boys dressed up. Maybe a hat? I don't know. It's getting crazy. Let's stick a beret on them. <laughs> no, the girls can wear berets. I will put the girls in berets. Do I want the boys to wear a hat though? I mean, not that one. <laughs> don't get too crazy, Molly. Oh my god. He got the beats on. But then it could be like they're listening to like one of those tours maybe. Like through the headphones. You know what? We're gonna roll with the headphones. This is what we're going for for the guys of the club. This part is- I'm in a weird mood so clearly this is gonna be a weird part. I love when I'm in these like giddy moods and I get to record in a giddy mood. I was feeling tired up until I hit the record button and now I'm like I'm extremely giddy. And then let's go to the female adult. Wait, yeah, this is classed as teen as well, right? <laughs> I mean, I know it's an adult-centric game, but this also classes for teen, right? Oh, do we do it to him? Why do I have all of these clothes unlocked? What, where did this even come from? Like, what are you? Is that part of the criminal career? Damn. She fancy. We're doing it. The girls are wearing their pearls. They've clearly stolen them. Destiny doesn't have pearls. What am I talking about? I was going to say they've stolen them from their mothers. Destiny, I don't think, would ever wear pearls. She's not that, she's not that kind of gal. And then where are my big... Yes. Yes, bitch. I'm living for it. This looks so good. And then, oh my god. I actually love it. Maybe a white beret. I am here for this. And then shoes. They obviously need high heels. Bright pink Moschino heels, which they've quite clearly stolen from someone. I don't know who, but they've stolen them. Oh my god. We're gonna look like the baddest bitches and I'm so ready for it. Let's grab the gang together whilst everyone's still asleep. So this is the perfect time, pulling the wool over their eyes. We have learnt from the best in our father. Right, and I didn't mean that in like a holy way. I meant like literally Oliver, our father. And let's go here and then let's get the squad to roll up. So let's start a gathering. Um, excuse me, did that not save? How do I get them all to wear their outfits? All right, I realized what the issue was. It was my fault. I was about to start blaming EA and The Sims 4, but it was my fault. Um, they aren't wearing their everyday wear outfit. They're instead wearing their hot weather outfit. So I'm just going into MC command and changing what they wear. Honestly, when we get, I love this. Oh my God, we look like we are here to do business. <laughs> Why does she look so awkward? This honestly like gives me like Taylor Swift vibes. Like she has stood exactly how Taylor Swift stands. I love Taylor Swift. I think people think that I don't because I throw so much shade, but I have listened to Taylor Swift since I was like, oh god, 12 maybe. And so I feel like I have that jokey relationship with Taylor Swift even though she has no idea that I exist because I've listened to her for that long. So that's in my head me and Taylor are bezies who have like banter with each other which I know makes me sound ridiculous but that's the way that it is. Like I throw shade in a very like oh my god I love this woman. If Taylor Swift ever happened to come across my channel she would be like that girl's funny, like we've got the bants and Taylor, if you're ever watching, can we please be on that level? Thank you very much. I'm not throwing shade. I love you dearly. It's like a sisterly banter. Um, okay, anyway, on to the heist museum. We are gonna travel with our gang. We need to become better friends with them. Maybe we'll go out drinking. I feel like in these outfits, I just feel like we're not gonna get ID'd. Wow, what a sim. <gasps> She's attracted to Hui. Oh my goodness. Hui, you're in there. 
you are in there, my dude. I thought it was going to say Nikolai, but no, we're going to talk about Glamagang. I love these outfits so much. I love what Bonnie is doing with the club. He likes my outfits. Yay. That makes me happy. Oh, she's breaking it. I like that. I like that, Marcy. You've got that oomph about you. <gasps> we is going to go break the toilet as well. This is great. You guys are doing such a good job. We are going to come in here. We're going to unlock and open this. Oh, she's feeling passionate. A breathtaking encounter from seeing an attractive sim. I honestly, her emotions are currently the colour of Hui's hair. So like, I don't know, maybe the pink is having an effect. I mean, pink is clearly her favourite colour. All right, lads, we're going in here together. Everyone in. Marcy, get your ass in here before a normie gets in. Marcy, if you don't get in here, I'm gonna have to lock you out. Okay, well, Marcy, we're gonna close and lock because he's about to come in and I do not want him to. Oh no, 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 don't close and lock them inside. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I thought like we could close and lock it from the inside, but clearly that's an outsider's job. There's 250,000 simoleons in this. That's like OP as hell. So let me do some quick maths here. We have 69, nice. We have 69,000 in our bank right now. So 50,000 on top of that would be 119,000, right? Yeah, 100,000 would almost get us there. I don't think I wanna go for like the big leagues cause that's like a lot um, and would just be so OP. I think we're gonna go for the 100,000 one. We're gonna try and break into this. All right, yeah, you guys go and distract. We'll have Nikolai stood here on watch for right now. He's like, dude, what are you doing? This is so ridiculous. Don't, don't go and tell on me, okay? <gasps> oh, that had a really negative re uh, effect on their relationship. Whoopsies! All right, I'm hoping that we can do this. No one's watching either, which is quite nice. Raj does not suspect a thing he didn't even he just turned a blind eye no one's coming in here which is nice so we all know in the last one oh no the alarm's going off oh shit 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 energy failure what she was full energy what the hell oh wait was that like a sleep did that just put like sleep poison on us like you tried to break into my Ted, freaking chemical warfare over here. He's like, clearly you, someone tried to break in and now she's, he put a sleep thing on so that if anyone tries to break in, they just fall asleep. And then if there were police in the game, which there isn't, which is very unfortunate. See, gameplay like this would be enhanced so much if we had like police NPCs. And that's the tea on get to work. <laughs> Awful thief. Oh, she's feeling sad. They say crime doesn't pay. Well, it certainly doesn't when Bonnie makes a muck of it. <gasps> she got it. She got it. She got it. Okay, we are gonna, we're gonna go nap in the money. She's feeling very, very tired. So stupidly, we're gonna go have a nap in here. Yep, there we go. Are you for real right now? Oh my goodness. I love this woman so much. That is just like actual goals, isn't it? This is insane. Like who does that? Bonnie does that. Of course Bonnie Darkbloom does that. She's full on asleep in this pile. Oh my God, what is happening? Why is it moving so weird? That's very strange movement from her in why? Who's sleep? Are you scratching your ankles? You look like a cricket. Now, when I zoom in on it, it's not doing it. What was going on with your feet? Come on, do it for the OnlyFans. Oh my God. You're welcome if you're into that. She is an absolute mood. Me, if I were ever a thief, I would sleep. I would do it just to piss people off. Cause you know that you're gonna steal this money so they can't DNA it. So you, and anyway, if you try and DNA money, it's just not gonna work. Like think of how many thousands of people have had their dirty hands all over it. Okay, we are going to 
steal the money from the vault, the full 100 smackaroonies, please. And then we're gonna go out to a karaoke bar. We're gonna live it up in San Maishuno with our crew, with the Glamour Gang. Ooh, what did that, oh, it went down. Her reputation went slightly down. Oopsies, oopsie daisy. All right, come on. I like how no one's coming in here today. This is incredible. Get your evil laugh out. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, close and lock this, please. And then we are gonna close. <laughs> what are they doing down here? Lads, what are you up to? What are you two getting up to? Right, go close and lock that one. And then we'll close and lock this one as well. Is Lilith Preggers? Lilith is most definitely Preggers. Speaking of Preggers, we need to go check on our alien kid. I think we'll do that in the next part. The aliens have kind of, since our kids are like so interesting, they've kind of taken up like my attention for a while. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go out. We're gonna celebrate with everyone. I don't know where Marcy went. I can only see the boys. We also need to try and make it up with Nikolai. Right, let's go over here now that we have our 169,000 Somalians in the bank. Let's order drink for the groups. Bartender, I will have the most expensive. Give me Sea of Fire. I think that's the most expensive one on here. 356 Somalians. She's like, rounds on me, lads. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are all just breaking the toilets. I love them so much. Oh, we can also, no one sabotage the karaoke machine, okay? Because I do actually want to do karaoke. Why is nobody else here? Maybe because it's one in the afternoon. <laughs> wow, we got started early this part. I thought it was going to be evening already, but nope, it's 1 p.m. Marcy, don't you dare fucking sabotage that. Thank you very much. Keep on walking, sis. We are gonna sing a country duet, apparently, with Hui. Yes, very excited for this. <gasps> Look at this chick. Jacqueline, she's trying to fit in with our gang. She's even painted her skin pink. She's like, they're gonna wear pink, I'm gonna go one better and I'm gonna paint my whole body. Oh, Marcy, you just always have to be different, don't you? Can't sit any regular way, you have to sit with your back turned. I mean, she is just admiring the view, which honestly, if I had this view, I would admire it also. I, I can I can see where you're coming from, Marcy. We should all go in the pool as well. Why is there not a hot tub in this place? Like, I feel like this place should have a hot tub. <gasps> Dominic, oh my God. He, he looks attractive as an elder. <gasps> Age looks good on Mr. Fires. I am impressed. All right, we're gonna tell an urban legend. <laughs> Katrina managed to escape, if you remember in the last port. She got pretty much trapped in the uh, the little safe, but she managed to escape. Vault burglar. Bonnie just lifted a wad of cash from an open vault. It must be her lucky day. Hopefully nobody saw her. I mean, it's the Sims 4. It doesn't have any consequences anyway, so doesn't really matter. We're gonna brighten Nikolai's day and we're gonna give him a pep talk. I like how they're still wearing their headphones. I mean, this is a flex, isn't it? This is like people who have like rose gold beat headphones. That's exactly, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from the lads. I just wanna sing this country duet. I want it to be like Dolly and Kenny. I don't know his name. I apologize. Islands in the stream. Why can I not remember who sang that? Who sang Islands in the Stream? Islands in the Stream was recorded by Kenny Rogers. Oh my god, it was Kenny. Legend. I know my country music. Oh yes, it, this is about to be terrible. She's a level one singer. I mean, she's got the tone. If you listen, she's got the tone of a country singer. And it all comes full circle. Bonnie could be the next Taylor Swift. Oh, he's terrible. He is shockingly bad. Oh, she's miserable. 
Who just fart? Who just farted? Who just farted? She's an angry drunk. Oh my goodness. What? Bonnie seems to be drunk and she's got stomach nausea and she's tired. Oh, this is not about to be a good day. You know what this calls for? More drinks. I want to order drinks for group. Let's go for more of the most expensive. See a fire. Yeah. Go grab our drinks and then let's hang out by the pool. Can we choose to hang out? I remember when there, didn't there used to be an option on pools where you could like choose to hang out and it would mean that Sims would just like sit and hang out by the pool? Is that not a thing anymore? Wow, we're doing um full on, we're gonna share a conspiracy theory. This is like, what's it called? Oh, she keeps burping. She's disgusting. Marcy, what's wrong with you? Did I feed everyone with like really bad drinks? Oopsies, turns out all the money in the world can't buy you good drinks. <gasps> She's flirting with Nikolai. I was meant to say this looks like confession. That's what I meant to say. This is like a confessional booth. <laughs> with someone sat on one side and someone sat on the other, just telling them your deepest, darkest secrets. We're gonna talk about Glamour Gang. Um, Marcy, have you taken care of yourself? Oh, she is wasted. She is so dazed. She drunk as a skunk. Let's do some, oh, she's out here breaking everything. She's so naughty as if I didn't tell her. I want to do a drunken, oh, are you about to sabotage it? God, Nikolai, you always have to ruin the fun for everyone. We were all having a nice time until you decided to take it to the next step and just ruin it for everyone. Let's go skinny dipping. I was gonna say, let's do some drunken karaoke. Hanging out with Bonnie is the main reason I think he also fancies us. I think he's got a little bit of a crush on us. Yeah, do that little booey shake, skinny dip together. <gasps> Nikolai, nobody likes you. You see him, he's acting horrified. He's like, oh, she's naked. Um, Hui, that is, you are not skinny dipping. Why am I the only one skinny dipping here? Hui, stay in. Oh. Well, that was sad. We're meant to be a mischievous gang and they're all like, oh, she's naked. Seriously, what's wrong with you all? I just made a bet and loser had to give you money. Don't waste it. <laughs> I wonder what they made a bet on. <gasps> Whether she would fail or not to get into the money. Zach's got tabs on us. He is shady. I obviously asked you guys in the last part whether you thought he was shady or not. That just proves it. Zach has tabs on our family. I wanna go swim here together. Guys, can we have some fun please as a club? Oh, you're all so annoying. Fine, I'll put my bikini back on. If you're all such prudes, let me just put on my Moschino bikini. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, I have money. Didn't you know? Right, swim around together. We need a wee. <laughs> that wasn't meant to sound exactly the same. All right, guys, I think I am gonna end this part here because these teenagers absolutely fail at being teenagers together. Um, we're gonna splash him. Can you stop burping? It is actually disgusting, Marcy. You're meant to be a lady. They suck. Yay, they're kind of flying with each other. This makes me happy. We're gonna share a conspiracy theory. Scratch that, we're not We're not ending it just yet. I wanna see how her and we get along together. We're gonna ask about his attractiveness likes. If you guys are wondering where that is from, it is from Wicked Whims, which I know. The Wicked Whims, the one and only. Uh, ask if we want kids. Ask a risque question. We're getting flirty. Oh, he's not gonna like that because we did a negative interaction with him. Well, that could have gone better. It sounds like Hui didn't appreciate Bonnie asking for his preferences. Though none of their likes were revealed, it wasn't a complete loss. Hui briefly mentioned to Bonnie that they have a strong disliking towards ghost cult, orange hair colour, outfit, very... He's a prude and blonde hair. Well, 
I mean, as long as we don't go skinny dipping in front of him again, we are going to be absolutely A-OK. -okay, and I think we can make this work. Thank you very much, we. But thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed this part. I'm sorry for how, like, giddy I was. I don't know why. Don't know why. Maybe it's because I watched a Juno Birch video before this and Juno apparently gets me into a giddy mood. So thank you, Juno, for that. I will leave her link in the description down below if you don't know Juno Birch. What are you doing? Go check her out. And I love you guys and leave all your comments and suggestions and everything down below. And maybe we'll move into the asylum in the next part, which is going to be crazy. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. I'm still in a giddy mood.